schedules are grueling and they're brutal uh, how, how did you how did you manage that and how did you how did you execute business while you're doing that it's a very good question it, it is always a juggle with with what I'm doing because uh, I do travel quite a lot um, you know I'm also with the NKBA at the moment as well and I'm one of their trendsetters and insiders so I'm constantly on the road just checking out new trends and what have you so I'm juggling that um, shows and then the business Ellen's design challenge, that was a tough one because once we signed on to that, you know, it could be three days and if I was eliminated, I'm back on site <laughs> or it could be the entire episode. The first one was six and the second one was eight and I was fortunate to, uh, to go through full, the full season of one and two. It's really difficult. Um, I was very fortunate that I wasn't involved in a large project at the time and the way I work with my clients, it's generally referral based and I like to do one project at a time. I think a lot of builders make a mistake and they take on too much. Sometimes they may get a little greedy. I like to just do one at a time because I've learned when I was very young um, by a lot of older people in the industry, if you just do one um, and you do it right, there's never any comeback. And guess what? People will wait if they want you. And fortunately, the projects that I had running, they were, they were pleasantly um, supportive and they said, Carl, do it. We're more than happy to wait for you. <laughs> they thought it may have been a week, but when I went through both seasons, it was like, my gosh, are you finished yet? Yeah, but that that is that is a very different approach. Anyone who's done some building knows, you know, you're you're waiting on your builder because yeah. they're they're at another job or they're at the third job. The Correct. the the goal I, I is it the mentality that you don't want to miss out on the business? Is is that why? Or do you do you, do builders and I know you can't speak for everyone, but do they feel they like they can they can juggle? Um, yeah, it's a it's it's a couple of things. I think here in California, or even the U.S., it's it's very difficult. For builders, even in this time of where the economy is really strong, um, the fact is we all have budgets, and everybody's trying to get work done as cheap as possible. Sometimes, if you've got, you know, for, for myself, even as a small operation, as a contractor, there's public liability, there's uh, workers' compensation, there's insurances. We're licensed, we're bonded. It's not like we can charge a handyman's rate to go and do something. So, we 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 have to be very very tight with our budgets, and sometimes we cannot really afford just to do one project at a time. We have to do multiple just to basically cover the costs. Um, with myself, I'm fortunate to, I have such a, a variety of different projects that I do that I can get compensated a little bit along the way if I'm, if I'm endorsing a corporation, um, a product, or if I'm traveling on behalf of somebody, it kind of balances it out.